Okay, hello there, Indipitous. Back with you with Plain Skyblock. And as you can see, not a great deal's changed. I have built this, this lovely, lovely platform, and found out when you get this high, it snows. Which is interesting. Did not know that. So, I'm just going to go and get a, a, a shovel. Because I could use this snow to make snow, uh, the snow golems. Um, so I'll be back when I get a shovel. I also grabbed some food because I'm hungry. A few apples to take away the hunger pains. So, grab this snow. And that is turning to ice. Oh no. Oh, well, never mind. It can turn to ice for the minute, I don't mind. Um, right, so we are going to be building our mob spawner. Uh, we want the mobs to fall on these four blocks here. And basically when that is taken away, the water is going to run down into our little catchment area. So the mobs are going to fall into the running water and go down there. And then collect at the bottom, which looks closer for us. Don't have to go and collect all the things every now and again. Just come and hit them. And I get XP that way as well, in case we need it. So, yeah, I'm just going to build this area up here. Um, might as well grab some water out of there while we're at it. Can't, can't hurt having a bucket of water, can it now? And throw the bucket of water away like a fool. Um, so, take that out, that out, that out, that one, that one, in fact, can all go really, I don't think we need them. Right, maybe a good idea to get some light so I can see what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe not. Right. So the mobs are going to drop here. this hole. So I'm just going to build this out and then uh, make a little square. This is basically your classic mob spawner. Um, very simple one for Minecraft Skyblock. So as you can see the drop in down here. Um, I did bring some ladders with me. Which I'm just going to place. So I can climb up. Right, so from here, you need to go out in four directions, two blocks deep. So I'll do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so basically made that kind of plus sign. It's f six from here and four wide. So one, two, three, four. Put these little bits in here. They're going to be our side, our uh, backs where the water's going to sit. basically just going to run a wall around, all the way around the edge, and when I've done that I'll come back to you. So once we've got that built, we're going to build out the platforms, so they are going to be like 5x5, five five, all the way around the edge, and then I'm going to put walls all the way around the whole entire building, and I'm going to do the roof. So what I'll do is I'll do the platform and the walls, and I'll show you what I've done, and then uh, pause it again and do the roof. So you can see it all in the stages. I've put 
signs there um, because it um, helps the mobs to realise there's something there that they'll walk over them and fall down. Um, it kind of makes it a, a filled block but also a clear block at the same time. So it's quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting thing they've got going there. Uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to put trapdoors around here, uh, which also aids in mob falling. I'm going to leave them up though, because it means that I can walk over them. So again, I'll do that. Okay, so as you can see, I've put platforms and a three high wall. Now the next thing we need to do is put in the ceiling. Now, I don't want Enderman. Um, or do I want Enderman? I don't think we need Ender Pearls. Um, uh, yeah, okay, we'll spawn Enderman and they'll probably end up flying into the house as soon as they hit the water. So, uh, all we need to do now is finish it off by putting half slabs all the way around the top. So, to make a roof, like so. And then what I'll do is, as I'm going around, put a torch down there. just because it is going to get pretty dark inside. Should have brought more ladders. What I'll do is I'll probably go up there and I'll make that my last corner. So when I've done that I'll come back to you. Okay so that's the ceiling on. Uh, you can now see it is three blocks high so I believe Endermen are going to be able to spawn in here. I'm just going to put the traps down means that we'll aid the mobs walking over the edge. They'll think it's a full block up in a bit like with the um with the signpost. They walk over the edge and think it's a full block. And then we'll just put in Block that up. So, collect this new. Alright, go back upstairs. The last we need to do is place a signpost in there. Now, we are going to place signposts on top of these signposts. hopefully and then place our water Arr! without falling place the water on each one of these corners Arr! Maybe not put them in yet. For the minute, I'm just going to put them. There we go. Right. When I've done that anyway, I'll come back to you when I've done that. <laughs> it's going to be frustrating. Okay, so I've put the signpost back in. I can take these blocks out now because I don't need them. See how the water stops but it pushes things over the edge. So hopefully it'll do the same thing with mobs. Then all it is is just take out...
some more water. Take out the torches. So they are completely dark. Take out that block. Replace it with that water. Fall over. Take this out. That's everything we need to do. And then take that and that. And we're well away. There we go. So hopefully mobs should start falling out of there soon. Let's escape. He says. Well, at least it's working anyway. We know it's working. <coughs> Little bugger. <coughs> okay, so there's miniature plumbing. Where's the miniature ones for? Well, uh, hmm. How did he get through? Need to figure out a way of killing these without. Yeah, do that look. So hopefully he won't be able to get through next time. That's it guys, that is not what I wanted to have. <laughs> Ow. I've done some damage. I think one needs to illuminate that back area. Okay, well, I'll see you next time, yeah? I want to have some fun with these spiders now. <laughs>